Hey everybody, welcome back to Sharky Plays Evil West. Uh, this episode we start in the town of Calico, where we have just arrived, you know, with the uh, wounded uh, father of Jesse. I keep forgetting his name. And uh, yeah, we're going to jump right back into this and see what this town has to offer for us. Oh, you everything, doctor. And we're also introduced to the doctor, uh, Amelia, and Virgil in the last episode. So we got some new cast character new cast characters here. And Check on my gauntlet first. There must be a workshop somewhere around. And there probably is, Jesse. I'm just making sure I got everything in this room. Feel like I do. Mr. Renty, Mr. Harrow wants to see you as soon as you're done in the workshop. Okay. Well I'm gonna also just go exploring here a bit. Looks like we got some uh, vampires on the bot on the table here, doing some kind of autopsies. Good to know. Got to figure out about our enemies here. This does seem to be a new breed of vampire from how everybody reacted to it. Let's see, what does this room have to offer? This is an execution room. Amelia, what kind of things do you be doing down here? All right, I don't... The hell is that? That's wild. Okay, it doesn't seem to be anything else I can grab. A oh, whole new area. Is there anything going on over here? I do like knowing that each of the areas kind of have a set number of items you can find. A little bit like secret hunting. Here's another thing of gold. Quartermaster. Is there something? No, okay. I thought I was seeing something. I want to punch this guy in the face. This is James Haro. Should have taken this meeting in the airship. It's another gauntlet and more guns. Good to know. You guys keep uh, hanging out and talking real quick. I'll progress the plot in a second. Just want to make sure there's nothing else up here that I'm going to miss. town a map all right let's go check out this uh, glowing thing that I saw and Mr. Harrow is waiting for you in the briefing room sir yeah yeah heard that already get some notes uh, Virgil's curriculum uh, engineer born graduated from RI Science Institute official member since 1888 an orphan and layer of Chinese necromancer various by some sort of arcane ritual brought back to Calico His recovery took some time but he proved sharp as attack he has a real talent for science technology and eventually graduated first in his class okay so Virgil has a history it seems I guess let's supercharge our gauntlet here Upgrades and perks reset. Do you want to reset? No, I actually kind of like my my stuff now, but I will just double check. So, yeah, fourteen hundred. Okay, so need a little bit of. A little more uh, bucks to fully upgrade the rest of it. All right, what's going on here? When I got your goddamn gilded invitation, I expected champagne and canapes. Hate this guy. Instead, some fang fuck broke into your headquarters and slapped you all around like a gaggle of whimpering sissies. Now the entire country. 
country is left unprotected while I stand here with my dick in my hand like an idiot. So again, could someone please tell me how the fuck did this happen? Security services were redirected to protect our most valuable asset. And how the fuck wasn't that me? That was my father's call, and it was Agent Gravener's <laughs> quick thinking that saved your life, sir. For all the fucking good it'll do once I tell the Capitol that its primary defense against all kinds of monsters just collapsed. We'll my punches, man. What, from here? This place is a shithole at the edge of fucking nowhere. And don't be fooled by our humble trapping, Secretary Harrow. Calico Cell has the highest survival rate in the Institute, as well as its very best engineer. We are your only chance of turning this around. Then I expect a report on those tick assholes on my desk first thing, Doctor. Somebody just punch this man. I, uh, uh, um... Just fucking hate this guy. <laughs> Best engineer? You better be, because we need this thing operational as soon as possible before Harrow comes back to string us all up. Harrow can suck my. How bad is it? <laughs> oh, well, the glamour disruptor's fried. Then we have the insulation around the power coupling. Can you fix it or not? It's doable, but I'll need time. A few weeks, a month tops. Mm, we ain't got that long. We have to be ready to take down this Felicity character when we find her. You mean if we find them? We have no idea where to even look. Not necessarily. What you got him for us, Amelia? The Devil's Pass. To the north, there's a canyon surrounding the main trail. And the unimaginative locals call it the Devil's Pass. And reports mention possibly unknown vampiric specimens. And we chalked it down to hearsay, but now we sent our top sanguisuge expert to investigate. <sighs> By expert, you mean a field agent and not another bookworm. Scott Bloom co-wrote the Institute's Sanguisuge Best. We need soldiers, not pencil pushers. I can't run around looking for a missing egghead hoping that maybe he brings something to the table. When did he last report? Five days ago. Now let's just hope he's lost in research. So we're going to go find another guy. Possibly unknown vampire species. I wonder if that's going to be like one of the snake ones with wings that we saw in that picture. Again, those frame drops again. I do like the constant change of environments we're getting in this game, though. It makes it, every level feel very unique. Mangled, mutilated, and ripped apart. Bloom, what did you walk into? It's like everything feels, uh... Every level has its own personality, and I like that. It adds a lot of variety to the game. I'm wondering. Uh, yep, there is a chest. Punch. 300 bucks. Right and just here. I'll take that. Agents here, guys. Let's fuck him up. I like that quick draw. Just blow their arms off. There we go. Took a little bit of damage, but for the most part was able to hit a lot of the weak spots. Hmm. Don't think that's a Don't think that's a guy I can get to. Some notes. This species appears to possess shape shifting abilities. Most uncommon for the typical sanguisuge. I dare say, this ability might be blood dependent, but it's hard to tell based on the limited amount of evidence found. I'm wondering if we're witnessing some sort of accelerated evolution, spurred perhaps by certain unknown environmental factors. Shapeshifters. Good to know.
head on up and see what awaits us up here. Seems like we got some more familiars. And what? Look at that fucking frame rate drop, man. This game is unoptimized when it transitions into actual like cutscenes. Okay, so those guys are a little more. Those guys are a little more werewolfy. Nargle. Shape shifting affliction. They pledge obedience to vampires when bloodsuckers promise to help them remain in one true form. It turned out to be a bloodsucking beast full soldier. Their howl can strengthen the resolve, boosting their combat abilities. I was trying to hit that first one, but the other one was just kind of guarding it. Make sure there's uh, nothing else over here I can can grab. That's another thing I'm appreciating about this game. Every level is throwing something new at us, so it never feels stale, you know? It's like, okay, hey, we've given you all the enemies that you're going to come across in this game, so no more surprises for you. And then it's just like, there you go, man. Some Our version of werewolves, for what it feels like. Unique chest. Let's check this beauty out. Uh, booming business. New perk. Exploding TNT creates the deal damage in a 50% larger. Might want to pick up that at some point. Seems like it'd be pretty good. like a weird town just kind of built on this cliffside all right uh can i not get back up there oh okay there we go oh, shit how fast does that uh shotgun seem to reload Seems to be moving a little bit. Don't actually have like a good sense of time for it though. It's just some weird little like cliffside town. It's okay, man. Also surprising those uh those werewolves. Popped up in the middle of the day. Great. Gotta find another way. So it seems like they're starting to actually be able to operate in the daytime, which may not be good for us. Get in place, assholes. Wait for my signal. Ready. That wasn't a lot. I thought they were going to drop way more. Jesus.
keep getting these guys to kind of hit each other. There we go, got one. Is that it? Where are these guys? I can hear them, but I can't see them. I probably have to go up there, so... Gotta squeeze through. Yeah, gotta squeeze through, and hopefully I'm not heading into the next... This canyon is protected like some kind of vault. What are they hiding here? Good question, Jesse, but let's go the not way we're supposed to go. I want to see if there's anything... Hey, that's a chest. Hundred and thirteen bucks. But yeah, he's right. This uh, canyon is pretty well defended, so I'm curious to see what they are hiding over here. Do I go this way? Okay. I need to remember that I actually do now have that uh electric side of things. Servant brute. Even though he's take part in extraordinarily strong, so Boo Hog. Uh they kinda of grow their own skin. Okay. Transport their transformative vampiric elixir and giant leeches. The massive invertebrates keep the. It's massive and technically not a vampire. It does produce. Okay, so it's just a bunch of leeches. Gross. Alright. About 700 away from a new upgrade. Can't I? Can I do something? Oh, almost missed you. I'm gonna have to go around to get you. Nope, I have to just push this thing. Look around the area, Dallas. So I can just push you. All right, can I get up here now? Or do I have to jump across? There we go. This is a nice little environment. This like canyon side like forest that we're in. Is there anything? No, I can't really look up high without hitting the grass, so. I love these environments. We got graboids. Are they bringing tremors into this. More money. More money. Really hope I didn't miss something up there. 
really the water stopping me from going there. More cash. Am I close now? 30 bucks off, are you kidding me? Alright, let's see what this uh, worm thing was, because I'm pretty sure. Okay, here's the big, here's the big, uh, combat sequence. I was waiting for it. Let's get you and... Beat the shit out of you. So yeah. So yeah, starting to uh, see that my whole arsenal is definitely going to be needed for this. I wouldn't trust this bridge to save my life. I wouldn't like that. Just fell from the top like that, and then they're expecting it to just be. You know, good to walk across. Research continues, but nothing I've seen explains the unusual capabilities of this curious animal. Judging by the diameter of the tunnels it creates, it's a, it's I estimate it's eight, eight feet tall. Feet tall and is quite powerful. Okay, so I'm guessing this might be the boss of the area. Just like tunneling vampire. Environmental puzzle. That's excellent. Uh, those birds are bats. Electrocuting large enemies. Use melee attacks to fill the stack indicator located next to their health. Fully stacked, so it would be electrocuted with the zapper. Shit. Fuck. There we go. There we go. Oof. Handle these guys while I Oh 
execute them, boy. Boom. Nice. All right, so I'm getting the boss fights down. Getting the boss fights down really well. New perk. Some health. Nope. Who is over here? There's a thing. Which means, is there a path? Yeah, I have enough bucks to buy an upgrade, I know. We are going to get... Performing the Zapper Polar Dash supercharges it and greatly increases the next melee punch damage. Nah, we're going to go with... the Airborne Shot. And I'm going to... Not get the boom. We get the additional splash damage. So I feel like we're going to be using that hero punch a lot. It's most disturbing. They appear in large numbers. The flying things. So. Flying things are definitely at the bottom of the totem pole. Uh. <laughs> My thoughts exactly there, Jesse. Let's, uh. Let's head down here real quick because I know that there was something behind. Yep. Ghost Rifle. Nice. Alright, so we've got a nice little skin and some money. Okay, so... Where did it go? Because I, it's just a big thing that I don't think you can really lose. <laughs> Alright, I don't think you should probably lose something of that size. They're gonna throw two boss fights at us in this one area. I was just trying to search the perimeter, but all right. Is that a mole? There we go. Let's go, come on, just keep the keep on aiming. What the shit, man, these frame rate drops. Where are you at? Where are you at? Where are you at?
Oh, come on. Alright. There's a lot happening. Fuck me, dude. What the fuck? There we go. There we go. All right. Christ, it's so Oof. Anything I've killed before. That was a little rougher, but we got it. He's just kind of swinging there, buddy. Alright, so that was a little tougher of an enemy. These larger guys having to melee them and then do the stun and everything, that's definitely going to be a challenge, especially in larger numbers like that. But, you know, we'll probably get it. Am I fucking so dim as shit on this? What the fuck? There we go. Or is that just the exposure of the camera? That's my webcam's acting fucking stupid. All right. Hello? Is anyone there? Bloom? Yeah, it's just the exposure of the camera. That sucks. This guy was just hiding out in bodies. Can you explain what happened here, Bloom? Oh, no. uh, well, I was sent here to investigate reports of a novel breed of sanguisuge. But when I arrived, I encountered a group of familiars, apparently sent here by their masters. That was a familiar? How come a human turned into that thing so quickly? Well, excellent question, sir. My thesis is that their transformation is linked to the blood from these creatures somehow. The how is what I'm stuck on. Uh, we better take one of those things back with us to the lab. Still beats me what those familiars were doing here. Well, from what I could gather, they were sent on a transport detail. Hmm. Securing a convoy of carts filled with some curious, wriggly little creatures they brought from the Callum sawmill. Uh, we need to check that place out. Yeah, so I'm guessing leeches. Like, leeches are probably... A big, you know, part of this. I'm looking at it now, man. Whenever this game transitions into something like a cutscene or a level change, my whole computer gets like a fucking CPU drop. I don't know what the hell is going on with this game. Is this shit just not optimized?
like I think I even reduced the okay the overall quality is all set to epic what happens if I turn that shit to high because last thing I need is for every little scene change in here to just make my computer chug along like nothing You. 1866. The war between the states might be over, but the larger war, the secret war, continues. Many men still suffering from the toll the war took on their spirits, souls, and bodies find themselves vulnerable to the Sangrazuja's vicious predations. Because of that, so civil war did happen. Our, our scientific research team has been working on a device that might finally give us an edge in this fight. As part of this effort, I am officially promoting Agent Edgar Gravener to take my place in the field. Okay, so that's just William Rent Rentier's writing. Uh, he promoted Edgar while they worked on a device. I hate to see him like this. So vulnerable. Yeah, Dad, don't worry. We're out there killing vampires for you. Alright, so Edgar is who I'm supposed to talk to, so we're going to dodge him for the moment. Oh, for a second there, I thought there was something behind all that. So I was trying to walk around it. Alright, Edgar. What do you have to say? Where are you off to in such a hurry? Bar run out of whiskey? Jess, when we dragged your dad in here, there was an awful lot of blood on him. He'll be fine. Bastard's too damn stubborn to die. I've seen my share of battle wounds. The ones William got, no way even half of that came out of him alone. Somewhere between the falling airships and hopping boo hags, I don't know. Could be that collateral damage wasn't the tick's only objective. Could be they... They infected him? No. No fucking way. Just hold your horses and just think about it. I mean, yeah. The Institute is infiltrated, and they'll let both you and William walk away? Jess, when a tick turns a familiar, they form a sort of bond. The sire can see into the servant's mind. Now, they make that link with, say, the man who developed that weapon you're carrying. Edgar. Our orders are clear when folks get infected. Infected means dead. Those are his own words. Breathe. I've got an idea. Remember that crap I brought from Lake Moore Pass? That plan that was supposed mm. to be a base for a cure one day. I'm not going to gamble my father's life on some swamp nerd's magic potion. It's not like we got a handful of aces here, Jess. Dabano and his lunatic spawn had taken the fight to us. And I sure as hell don't want to go to war without our general. Do you? All right. The plant might be back in the manor's ruins. I'll go check if there's anything left of the lab, and you... I go. You need to take care of the gauntlet. I don't give a flying fuck about the gauntlet. I'm not sitting on my ass while my father grows a new set of teeth. I know one asks him to, but if I fail, you and that gauntlet will be the only thing between us... I do like their dynamic. I got this, okay? And Jesse is a little hot-headed, but he does listen. He's not like the kind of like fuck you protagonist. Okay, so a lot he's smoother of a transition. So I guess Epic is just unoptimized. Oh, excuse me. It's just unoptimized to, to just not shit your computer out. Mm, excuse me. It's been a long, uh, long weekend, and I'm getting all this recorded before I'm off to a, uh, like a friendsgiving with the old bro op crew. So let's head on in here. Now, they have a sunroof in here so it's not like this thing is particularly hidden 
Is it just like a giant building and they just have a tiny bar in the front of it as like a like just kind of a cover because this is a whole ass building like a whole ass warehouse behind the bar and they're like oh that's nothing okay is there any other oh, some gold do you have a moment sir it's a tragedy the cabanas had this take all right so i can head up there that's what worries me it's not something you can orchestrate overnight. We've been fighting each other for centuries. Hmm. Like every other creature, they change over time to get an upper hand against us. Let's see, what are y'all talking about? The Sanguisus reproduced by turning their familiars. A slow, but effective process. Now there's this new breed. <sighs> Popping up like rabbits. But they're fierce and resourceful. But still not anything we can class as an evolutionary step up the ladder. Well, if anything, they're a step backwards. Mindless and bloodthirsty. They're cannon fodder. This is de Bono's idea of an army. Humans turn to minions or whatever hmm. foul blood beasts they'll end up being. Foul blood? Precisely, sir. Splendiferously observed. Well, I guess to know for sure we have to investigate McCallum's sawmill? McCallum's won't be an easy nut to crack. Without a working gauntlet, we can't penetrate its glamours. Guess it's high time to check up on our resident genius. I love the crew. I love this crew so much. Why do I have to be such a pig? Paper, paper everywhere. I can't find shit in here. Oh, hi. Uh, holy moly, where are my notes? <laughs> induction phenomenon Virgil take it easy with the jargon please you're talking to a field agent <laughs> Pompey system uh, you sure you don't want to hear my radiography joke about uh, <laughs> the little eye twitch underneath Here it is. I don't know if that was just intentional in the animation or if it's just something that happened down his throat perhaps we can give Virgil a chance to explain himself miniaturization has its limits if you want a working disruptor like this you have to accept the fact that it won't be well portable like Amelia so kindly pointed out I'm a field agent as in I go out in the field <laughs> it's not portable it's useless so I don't mean to put your ass over the fire but apparently you do but if we don't get it running we're all done for can you make it work? Well, maybe if I could somehow get my hands on some spare coils from the original disruptor. Done. Where can I find them? Jesse's just like, can you do the job? <laughs> Got reports about a visual anomaly in a mining town called Baxter. It turned out to be a glamour. Director Rentier sent me there to deliver a crate of heavy electrical coils. They were designed to help our engineers disrupt the illusion. Unfortunately, hmm. before the team could collect any relevant data, the cell was destroyed by the ticks. Whatever they were hiding must have been important. They left no one alive. How will I know these coils, Birch? So, Just look for a miniaturized electrical okay. Okay. Snow Town? Pack your shit, kid. We're out in five. So we were in the desert, now we're here. So this would probably be... Probably Colorado. Somewhere out in the... Somewhere out in the Rockies. Yep. Alright, nothing over here. So let's make our way... Is that the Aurora Borealis? Alright, let's see... I also like how this game gives you a little while to kind of just enjoy the level before it actually uh Dear Alice, I hope you and the children are well. Yesterday we came across something down in the mines that I can't explain. Some kind of wall of gemstones higher than diamond. It won't budge a higher up and he's charged all it was called a cave in. Okay. They found glimmer. 
Glamour. But also, I like how we have time to kind of explore the levels before anything gets started. It's like, here, take in the scenery, and then we'll throw the waves and waves of enemies at you. Alright, we got that moving. Alright. Come on. them. That's you. Got you. I'll just come over here, pick you up, get your health back, and get you. Oh, shit. Alright, so... Kind of right into it on this level. They're bringing back the guys that throw out the ticks. Which are always fun. And it looks like they're throwing some of the skinless ones at us too. Let's go. Get to you, get one of our charges back. Anything? Nope. Head on this way. I like how Virgil's kind of sitting by himself. It's like, oh, okay, never mind. With the coils? No, they must have transported them somewhere down those rails. But look what our agents left behind. Huh? I'm gonna take it for a test drive. Thanks. What? Crippling rod. This electric device fires the electrical discharges temporarily disabling electrocuting the enemies while being perfectly harmless to humans. It needs to recharge. You press Y to use, no need to close your eyes. Interesting. Generates a bright electrical discharge electrocuting all nearby enemies while being perfectly harmless to humans. It needs some time to recharge. Okay. Shit, I missed all those shots. There we go. There we go. Get you. Get you. Get you. Okay, so double. So a little double charge there is enough to. Seems to kill most enemies in two shots. Keep pressing fucking X to reload, even though this game doesn't have a reload feature, for the most part. I just run out of shots and then it does it. I keep trying to reload and it keeps firing my shotgun. Okay, well I really like that uh, electrical discharge uh, thing that we have now. Don't think it'll work on boss monsters, but it'll work on 
the uh, lower level guys enough. Uh, do I... Down those rails. Shh. Fuck. Okay. Do I just bring you back? And do I bring you? Bring you back or not? I got to do that. Oh, God damn. Do I push you further? Just a little more. Okay, there's a... Is that a... It's weird, I thought I saw a shimmer of gold there. Get you... Hit you. Almost there. Gotta get to that other switch. Yep. Okay. Is there anything that's going to be coming out to hit me? No. Good to know. Pull you back. Jesse, you are quite inhumanly strong. Money. It's a little overcharge health. It's good. That's the switch. I'll take that. So just more money than I think here. When we hit this, there'll probably be another combat encounter. Or not. We're good to go. Should I? Or not? No, or not. Mr. Jesse, I think I found a shortcut. That's a rusty shortcut, Verge. Well, this <laughs> just hits it. The thing just drops, <laughs> like. Sidekick, you can kickstart that thing. Just there we go. That's what I was expecting. Right into an encounter. Jesus. Oh, there we go. Keep forgetting that I can pull them. So I guess I can... So, yeah, I guess I can pull them off of a... 
higher ledges. Excellent. Let's get you. Nice. All right. Not bad. Ooh, that's tight. Cash. Cash money. Then there's the thing over here. And I'm going to check out all this before I actually hit that switch. this one down now for the other two and we can open the gate and get down there can anything be simple here looks like we're going to have to go up I do like the uh, overall like environmental design of this game I keep saying it but it just has a really good like level design mindset behind it Right now, thank you guys for joining me on this episode of Evil West, and we will get into the completion of this area in the next episode. So I'm Sharky at, and I'll see you guys next time.